hey, why not share a pacifier with a baby? If you said because it's gross and weird, you're right, but you should still do it. Anthony here, and we have talked about bacteria a lot before. A huge part of who you are in terms of your physical and mental health is all due to the bacteria that live on and in your body. You've got 10 times as many bacteria as you do actual cells, and you've picked it up all throughout your life from friends, family, and environment. You know who doesn't have a lot of fancy and magical bacteria yet? Babies because they are new and small and feeble. There is not a single baby in the world that I could not lift over my head, the weaklings. Anyway, there's been a theory for a while that if we could just get the right bacteria to babies, we could protect them from developing lifelong allergies. We just didn't know which bacteria or how to do it. But now it looks like the secret is to share a baby's pacifier with it. A study conducted by some Swedish pediatricians and microbiologists looked at how the parents of 184 babies clean their pacifiers. So the pacifier falls on the floor, some parents rinse it in a tap, some boil it, and some just sucked it clean. Gave it right back to the baby. Because babies don't know any better, guys. Babies are stupid. Anyway, the babies whose parents sucked on the pacifier were three times less likely to suffer eczema and other allergic reactions. And the babies with these supposedly germy pacifiers also didn't suffer from any more infection or sickness than the other babies. So being super gross and germy with your baby is all pros, no cons, minus a mouthful of baby saliva. Babies seem to have so much saliva. Uh, which is the key to the whole thing, by the way. See, saliva is just this crazy rich source of bacteria and viruses. So the parent is actually using the most efficient delivery system possible to pass on their helpful microbes. And the introduction of those complex bacteria early in life give a baby more weapons to fight against the development of allergic reactions. I wonder if this is something that could work later in life too. I mean, we already talked about how people that live together share microbiomes. Could living with someone without allergies help people develop immunities to their allergies. And when we finally sequence the microbiome, could we just introduce certain bacteria into people to make allergies go away? Uh, if you're into this, you should watch our last video on microbiomes and mental health. You guys already know, I don't like to think too much about the bacteria that's all over us, but it's kind of crazy how much it contributes to our lives. Does that freak you out at all? Let me know and subscribe for more D News. Mm -hmm.